Today I thought we would do a workwear capsule wardrobe edit for the transitional season. You know how much I love sharing these videos and all of this is going to be focused more on corporate style. So think lots of smart, chic, corporate wardrobe ideas that aren't just black and white because we do have some really amazing colour here. So I've narrowed it down to 12 items and this doesn't include shoes or bags. For styling I've included a pair of pumps and a pair of ankle boots and then just one black leather tote. I think that's really all you need. Then I have one sleeveless tank for slightly warmer days. I have two long sleeved fitted tops two button down shirts or blouses, one slim fitting jumper, two pairs of trousers, one that is slightly more cropped and fitted and one that has more of a fluid long length, a skirt, this one is in a pleated style and falls below the knee, a rib knit dress in a midi length and then the final two pieces are outerwear styles, two trench coats, one shorter and one longer that you could easily swap one of these out for a blazer. Before I jump into the styling part of this video where I talk through each of the outfits, I'm thrilled to share that I'm partnering with Goelia again on this video. You may recall I shared the brand with you a few weeks ago, this knit is actually from that video and I've got some new in pieces to share with you with a workwear slant as well as an exclusive discount code in case you'd like to place an order. So I'm going to talk through the new pieces and then we'll get on to all the different styling options. So first up we've got this light beige or camel worsted wool double breasted trench coat. This is one of Goelia's best selling styles and I can see why it's very very classic but it has this beautiful drape to it. The belt is really long kind of in this dramatic way and I really like the way that it just hangs when you've fastened it at the waist. This is 100% wool and the actual texture of it feels really nice and fine and soft against the skin. It's not itchy at all. It does actually have a lining as well so you've got that additional layer of of warmth and also protection against the skin. A trench coat for me is one of my ultimate transitional season wardrobe essentials and this is just such a classic option that you really can't go wrong with. Oh and I will have all my sizing info down in the description box below. Now, I do also have a second trench. This one is longer and it is a little bit more relaxed through the body which I really like. It kind of has a bit more of a Scandinavian feel whereas the light camel one is more of that classic Parisian feel. Again this one is 100% worsted wool and it has the exact same texture and hand feel as the previous trench but it has this really beautiful soft desaturated green hue which I really like and it's a colour I've been injecting a lot into my wardrobe recently just because I find it works really nicely with my high contrast features. I really like the way that this one fits because I do tend to prefer those more relaxed silhouettes and it's a great way to add in that ease to your outfits in a corporate setting. The third item I have to share is this beautiful striped sweater from Goelia and I really love the colour combination of this. It is kind of this buttercream hue, sort of has this beige element to the yellow which is really beautiful and then the white isn't a stark white, it has this muted softness to it, almost this milky colour. This is 100% wool and it does have a little bit of texture to it but I personally don't find it feels scratchy or anything like that on my skin. This is a really good option if you are petite because I find that the sleeves are a really good bracelet length, especially on someone like me and I'm actually quite tall, I'm 172 centimeters, so you can kind of get a sense of how it might fit on you if you are someone who is a bit shorter than I am. And then of course we've got a really nice classic pair of trousers in this stunning caramel hue which I really love, it's got this beautiful warmth to it. The detail that really got me on these trousers is that you can actually adjust the fit at the waist which is perfect especially if you are someone who is a bit wider at the hip. So you can see in the cutaways that I'm cinching it in by pulling the elastic of the strap and then fastening it on the furthest button and this really helps to personalize the fit and make sure that they are tailored perfectly for me which I really like. These ones are a polyester and viscose blend so a really good practical option and it means that they're also going to be really hard wearing too. Then we have this super fun super punchy shirt which I really liked for this detail here at the waist which is elasticated so it kind of gives you this really nice blues on effect where it billows out and I think that that's really nice where you don't have to think about tucking it into your trousers you can literally just tuck the elastic under. I think the colour is also a really nice one to pair back with those more sort of camel tones in your closet. I think that looks really pretty and it's a really nice colour combo but it also works really nicely with blues as well so you can kind of see here how it pairs 
this with a navy. So just take this as a reminder that it is actually really easy to add in some color to your wardrobe by pairing it back with those neutrals that you know and love and that you are styling up in a multitude of ways already. I also like that this kind of gives you a different feel depending on whether you are wearing it with the buttons undone or fully done up and I really like how kind of pointed the collar is as well it just feels a little bit more formal and done up and then the final item I have to share is actually a convertible piece and what I like about this is it allows you to maximize your styling opportunities so it is essentially this dress which is two separate pieces so they can be worn together or you can wear them apart like I have these beautiful white trousers from Goelia which I think that this top would look really beautiful with the skirt would be a great option to wear on the weekend with a slouchy sweater and some sneakers or even just a chunky sandal the skirt actually does have an elasticated waistband and a zip closure has lots of beautiful movement which you'll know that I really love for workwear it's one of the reasons why I often gravitate towards trenches or just anything with a lot of fabric because when you move you kind of have this dramatic element uh, and then the top almost has that waistcoat feel to it. Curious to know if you think the same, but just with that wrap over detail uh, and how it just cinches in at the waist. So that is the final piece that I had to share from you that is new in from Goelia that would be perfect for the office. As I mentioned, I do have that 25% off discount code, which is Jamie25. It's gonna be here on the screen. They do also have some other promotions running at the moment. So I will leave all of those detailed down in the description box, along with links to all of the items that I mentioned and feature throughout this video. Now let's get into the styling part of this video. These three outfits to me are a really good example of how you can add in color by grounding it with the neutrals that you know and love in your closet but also neutrals that aren't black because I think that's where many of us tend to fall on when we are trying to inject a little bit more vibrancy into our wardrobes. I really love this vibrant mild cobalt blue it adds in a nice bright burst without feeling too loud or intimidating. The other key here when you're adding in color is to think about selecting silhouettes which you're already really familiar with because then you'll know how to base an outfit formulaically that you already feel really amazing in. These aren't your typical corporate outfits but there is always room to take some liberties with how you choose to wear your work wardrobe. To me, this is a simple way to add in some personality and to refresh a go-to outfit formula. Things like wearing your shirt loose, doing a little half tuck, or wearing a knit over a dress to give the appearance that you're wearing two separate pieces. It's also a really smart way to maximize your wardrobe and also increase the utility and versatility of the items that you already own as well by just thinking a little bit outside the box as to how you can wear them. A knitted dress like this might not seem super versatile at first glance but I like to think of it as a blank canvas. The thing to note here is that this dress is relatively slim fitting, which is what I think makes it a really good option to play around with. I find that it's an opportunity to hero a really special blazer or jacket while still retaining timeless appeal underneath. Also a good starting point for layering too. You can see here that I've paired it with two separate trench coats and they both give it a completely different feel, which is down to the cut and length. And this very sort of slim basic dress allows these two trench coats to shine and hold their own. Another thing to think about is how you can tack on layers to create something new. It's a ribbed midi skirt if you throw on a sweater, right? or a ripped fitted long sleeve top when paired with a midi skirt. Utilizing your clothing like this is a simple way to add joy and playfulness to your wardrobe, as well as guarantee that your outfits aren't going to look like everybody else's. It's a great way to showcase your visual voice and come up with outfits that are uniquely you. I tend to live by the three color rule as a simple tool to keep outfits looking cohesive. That said, I'm not afraid to think outside the box and opt for more colors if that's what I'm in the mood for. And I feel like where you really have some wiggle room is when you are utilizing items within a total spectrum. And it's also worth noting that these sorts of styling tools are really there to guide you when putting together outfits and might be the key to fixing an outfit that feels a little off to you. These three outfits here feel a little unexpected in that I wouldn't normally pair these items together but they're not jarring and in fact they each have their own points of visual interest. Taking off the layering piece calms down the outfit and it feels a little bit more subdued. Part of the reason why I think that this works here is that the colors are mostly within a similar color family as I mentioned earlier 
earthy hues or colors rooted in nature. One thing I've noticed with my personal style is that it tends to remain pretty static in terms of the types of items I like, but the silhouettes shift over time. Right now, I like the concept of long and lean, which these three looks embody. To me, a reflection of those high-rise trousers, which makes my legs look longer, much longer than they actually are. Thinking in columns of color, a style tool I've mentioned previously, a way to really enhance this visually is to opt for a single tonal or monochromatic outfit. The navy blouse with the trousers being the best example of this. These three outfits are all centered around an item that is unique or has a slight quirk to it. The item in question being this half pleated skirt with flat front and cut out detail. It makes a statement, feels a little bit more fashion than your usual pleated skirt for the office, but it holds its own in a way that doesn't feel too dramatic. It doesn't feel too out there, and by wearing it with your tried and true workwear staples, it is easily toned down. What I like here too is the ability to pick and choose whether you have that fun peekaboo detail or you go for a slightly more relaxed look at the waist, concealing it and makes it feel a little bit more classic. And I think this is a really great takeaway, especially if you're thinking about how to balance out all the different elements of your personal style. I wanted to end this video with some more classic outfit ideas for the office. Ways which you're likely pairing items you already own, utilizing style tools like contrast, tonal outfits, texture. And you know, I love each one of these outfits for different reasons, but mostly because they signify to me proportions that I've worn at some point throughout my career in a corporate setting, whether that be a Monday to Thursday look or more of a business casual option, perhaps with a flat shoe. And not a single one of these outfits feels boring either, which highlights the importance of having a really strong color palette when you are selecting items to add to your work wardrobe or just your wardrobe in general. I really enjoy putting together this capsule wardrobe because it isn't too neutral leaning and it does have that little vibrant pop of color, which I think many of us are craving at the moment. I would love to know if you had a particular favorite pairing. Please let me know in the comments section and don't forget that you can get 25% off your order at Go with the code Jamie25. Thank you so much to Goelia for partnering with me again and thank you so much for watching, spending some of your day with me and I really hope that you got some great outfit ideas or just even some inspiration to remix the things that you already own in your closet. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!